Hiya, as promised, um, I've put together a short video just to show you how you can perhaps manage your to-do list and your, your weekly and your daily tasks a little bit better. So in, in today's world, we've all got a million different things to do, whether it's from a, a family perspective, um, a business work-life perspective. There's so many things that, that are grabbing our attention. So the, the first tip I, I would give people, and it in my eyes is quite fundamental is to get it out of your brain and capture all of the things you need to do somewhere else and um, it's basically called your second brain so it can either be a piece of paper which is fine it is still a system um or ideally in today's age you probably want to be using some some form of app you know so iphone android they're good for having um apps where you can native apps where you can record and list all of the things you need to do um, but there are some purpose built apps out there. So Todoist is one and where it can categorize and organize them a little bit more efficiently. But the main thing is get it out of your brain, put it somewhere else, whether it's on a piece of paper or um, ideally electronic um, system. And then it, it's there and you, you don't need to store that information in your head because if it's in your head, you keep on replaying the same thing over and over again. You keep on thinking to yourself, have I, have I done that yet? Oh, don't forget, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to, I need to go shopping um, on Tuesday or I need to pay that bill. And, and, and when you're, you're relaxing, it, it, you keep on revisiting the same thought. So you're sitting on the sofa, you're watching Netflix, and then maybe for the fourth time that day, I really need to pay that bill. Or I need to sort that parking ticket out. If, it, if it's in your head, you keep on replaying and revisiting the same thing, which... Um, you know, drains your energy really. So the first thing I'd say is get get it written down. Okay, so if, if you're happy with that, so you've got it all written down. So if you look at the slides here, here's an example of some things you might have on your list that you need to do. So you might, um, you know, if, if you're a business owner, you might, raise an in, you might need to raise an invoice to a customer. So you've done some work, you need to raise that invoice. Uh, you've written it down and here it is here. You might need to prepare a quote. So you've not even done any work yet. You need to put a quote together and, and there's probably some steps involved to putting that quote together, but you need to prepare a quote. You've got some filing you need to do, some admin. You need to pay some bills. You might need to pay the, the wages for the staff if, 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 if you're a business owner and you've got a staff. So that there's lots of different things that you, you need to do. On top of that, you might have several other things you need to do. So in addition to, to this, you might have a Facebook advertising campaign that you're looking to get up and running in the next week or, or the next few weeks. You might have some artwork. In, um, so I've done an example of chat and tax accountants there. You might have some plans to do some custom artwork because you're, you're doing a brochure or you're doing a poster, whatever it's for. You might have um, a project to launch a new website. And, and in addition, you might have to, as I mentioned earlier, go shopping to, to do the groceries. You might have to do the washing up. You might have to get things ready to be able to cook dinner that evening. You might have lots of house chores, so you might need to you know, to, to do all the hoovering. You might have, um, let's say, for example, some uh, you know more fun activities. So you might need to arrange a cinema trip for your family because, as we speak, it's it's half term. So you've got, got to keep your kids busy. So you want to arrange a cinema for, for trip for the family. You might need to book a, a meal for an important occasion, such as an anniversary. Um, you you might need to sort something because you have a regular uh, meeting with, with your friends. Uh, every weekend or once a year on a particular weekend you, you go away for a golf trip and you might need to get that organized so all of these different things are all adding up you've got all these different things you need to do if you put them all together there's a dozen or so more activities and it's quite a lot to juggle and, and you know this list is just an example but in most people's lives i don't know about you but i can have 50 or 60 different things on my list at any given time and it can be quite overwhelming what do you do first i mean Obviously, things with deadlines, so if it's an anniversary, your wife's not going to be happy if you don't get that meal booked. But sometimes you've got to juggle and prioritise what, what do I really need to be doing next. So one method, which is a system I want to share with you today, is basically a system called batching or chunking. 
So there's a, a famous business coach called Tony Robbins. He refers, refers to it as chunking. Some other people call it batching. And essentially, if you looked at all those activities, and I purposely avoided this screen initially when I was jumping from all the different things you might have on your list. But by batching or, or chunking, what you do is you group those tasks together. So rather than look at them all individually and have them all mixed up and you, you literally don't know where to start, group all of the similar activities together because essentially it's far more efficient for your brain to be doing similar activities at the same time so if you've got a day spare to to tick off your to-do list and re, you know really eat into that list it's far more efficient to do the same activity because you're moving from one thing to the other and you're basically in the flow you're, you're in the groove really you're, you're not jumping around doing all these different things so in this example i've categorized the first things as bookkeeping and finance for someone who's got a business and that could be a personal person you're paying your personal bills it could be sorting out uh, fees for your kids at school and um, so i've organized that as bookkeeping and finance these activities i've all associated with associated with marketing so this is all marketing related activities so if you concentrate on all of them at the same time your mind's basically in that zone really it's you know it's in the mood for that type of activity Household, so um, basically the, the tasks on here, as I mentioned, is you've got your shopping, you've got your washing up, you've got your house chores, you've got, you've got your cooking. You know, most of us don't cook as good as Jamie Oliver, but we have to cook, we have to eat. Um, and this, I imagine, this list alone could probably have 50 different things. There could be all sorts of things on your things you need to do in your house, you know, and you can potentially include things you need to do for your kids as well such as homework for example and the last categorization i use was social activities so it's a really really powerful tool it basically frees up your mind and it groups it so you've got four different things that you need to work so you chunk in you're batching all these things into four main activities there's no set amount of um you know categories you can use it's whatever works for you i've just picked some examples i mean i tend to not use any more than six so i put my things into six categories and i even put it as one two three four five and six so that i i know what my main priority is so there's, there's no wasted time or energy jumping around um and you know debating with myself what i should be doing next because when you do that you basically end up wasting time and um so yeah, having a clear order of what you need to be doing next makes a huge difference um, and, and, and it's a lot less draining in terms of your energy. So hopefully you, you found that quite useful. There is one other um, method. So there is one other, well, there's not one, so, okay. So there is another method of organizing, um, or shall I say, prioritizing your time. Um, it's not necessarily uh, mutually exclusive to this. So you, you could use it in conjunction with that, but it's a different way of categorizing what you should be doing next. And basically you, you think of a graph and you have uh, at the top, you have high importance, low importance. And at the bottom you have urgent and not urgent. So basically, you end up with four different um, scenarios. So you, you create four boxes, and at the top, so box one, you've got high importance, high urgency. So, so that's box one. You have high importance, not urgent. Um, and basically, you've got your four different categories. So the, the least important um, box or, or, or type of task is going to be, it's not urgent, and it's not important. You know, if it's not important, it's not urgent, why is it even on your list, basically? Um, if it's urgent and it's important, you need to do it, but you're firefighting a little bit. So you want to be spending most of your time in high importance, but not urgent. So you basically want to be finding time for the important things before they become urgent. And, and that's the key to that system. And so that's something that works for a lot of people. So the three tips um, of different ways of you know managing your workload and your tasks and your life is get it onto a second brain, whether it's a piece of paper or an app, um, use batching or chunking, and think of some form of prioritization system because we've, we've all got deadlines. I hope that helps, thanks.